So our vector product is defined to be a vector perpendicular to two other vectors. So the vector product, or the cross product, I use the cross symbol, results in a new vector where that new vector is perpendicular to both of the old vectors. So if V and W are in a plane on their own, so let's say that we've got V pointing somehow this way, W points this way, my vector product is the normal to both of those, so it's sticking up out of the plane, so it's perpendicular to the plane holding V and W, and that's going to be important later. So one way to find the vector product is using determinants. Another way to find the vector product is the way your formula book shows you. So your formula book uses this formula, where we've got these quantities. So let me add this into your notes. So we can use this method of finding it. And this works out to be the same as the determinant method that I showed before. If we want another sort of sneaky way of remembering this, I can write down I J, K, I, J, K. And underneath it, I'm going to write out the values of my vectors. So V1, V2, V3, V1, V2. I don't need to keep going anymore, and I'll show you why in a second. W1, W2, W3 w1, w2. So one way to remember this is that I'm going to take my major diagonals and sum them. So I could take, whoops, that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted to highlight that. So major diagonal, major diagonal, major diagonal. So I could sum those and then subtract my minor di diagonals. So minor, minor, minor. So I didn't even need to write, well, I did need this last W2. So if I take the major diagonals, I'm gonna have I times V2 W3 plus J times V3 W1 plus K times V1 W2. And then I'm going to subtract off all the orange. So minus I V3 W2 J V1 W3 and K V2 W1. So this is another shortcut to remember this. Yeah. Yeah, have a lovely 